I have a 2019 server, and let's say I need to kill a service on that. Maybe I'm trying to restart it, and one of the services is just stuck. So if I go to Task Manager, and I go to Services, let's just pretend that, for instance, uh, DNS. Let's just click on D. Here we are. And let's say our DNS service is stuck, either stopping or starting. And we see that it has a process ID of 3204. So what I want to do is I want to kill that remotely so that way my restart can happen. And this can really help you if you're remoted into a network and you're trying to get a server to reboot, but for whatever reason you can't get into it because one of these services is stuck. So I'm going to go into a Windows 10 computer and I'm going to remotely kill that service. So here's my Windows 10 client, as you can see here. And I'm going to open up PowerShell. And I'm going to start by looking for the process that I want to kill. So I'm going to type in task list forward slash s. And now I need to put in the server name. So you can either put in the server name or the IP address. It's up to you. And I'm going to put in a slash u for the username. I'm going to put in administrator. And then I'm going to do a slash p for password and put in my password. Of course, you can see it's not a really secure password. So I hit enter, and there are all my services on my remote server. Now let's say I want to kill off the service that's giving me a problem. So I'm going to look for DNS. There it is, dns.exe, and I see the process ID is 3204. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to clear the screen, and now I'm going to type task kill. So task kill, all one word slash s for server dc1 and again you can replace that with an ip address if you want slash user administrator and then slash pid for process id and the process id was 3204 hit enter now, I may get a prompt for a password, or I may not. In this case, I didn't because I was already logged in as the administrator. And we can see that the process has been terminated. Now, let's go back into our server and take a look and see if that's the case. So we go back into Task Manager. We go to Services. And I'm going to sort by name. Type the letter D and go to DNS. And look at that. My service is stopped. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose start to get that thing going again. But now I'm able to finish either restarting my computer or the computer is going to restart on its own, whatever the issue is. And I've been able to remotely kill that task. So that's how you kill a task. And it can work on any server or any workstation as long as you have administrator privileges to that. So if you have the username and password for an administrator, you can go ahead and do that on a Windows 10 computer, server 2016, 2012, whatever works for you.